So to finish the, the thought of indexing vectors, um, bit of a review. Um, we've done the numerical indexing. We have done indexing using range or vectors. Um, you know, indexing a vector with a vector. Uh, let me put that in here. And so now we're going to do uh, what's known as logical indexing, or it's also known as masking. And it's quite simple. It's almost like using a stencil. Uh, you've seen stencils where you have a stencil that look, may look like something like this. And then if you spray paint the stencil, it has a hole in the middle. If you spray paint it, uh, if you spray paint over it, it's going to leave something that looks like that. So it masks um, the image onto something else. And so that's what we're going to do here effectively. Uh, so if we did um, vector A equals... Uh, let's say uh, 4, 6, uh, 14, and 22. And I come in here and I say, okay, give me vector A indexed at true, false, false, false. Okay. Um, what will that do? Well, it's just going to, where there is a true, it's going to keep those values, and where there's a false, it's not going to keep them. So that's just simply going to give me back the vector 4. If I did A uh, indexed at true, true, false, true, then that's going to give me back the vector uh, 4, 6, 22. 14 didn't make the cut because it got indexed, it got masked out with the false. So uh, that's that's essentially logical masking, uh, or logical indexing, which is masking. Um, and so uh, that's easy. And that, that actually comes up a lot when you're doing images and other types of data as well. Keep in mind, we're learning the pieces now. Uh, we'll actually start putting them together a little bit later on. Okay, so this is the last installment, uh, installment 10 of 10 of Lecture 1. Uh, we talk about the indexing of vectors with logical values, um, also known as masking, also can be thought of as filtering. Let's get right to it. We get a vector uh, A equal 4, 6, 40, 22. Uh, suppress that. And then we get a vector B equals a index must be true, false, false, false. And see what we get. Uh, I've already saved this file, so it won't prompt me to save it. So it's just going to run it. And as you see here, uh, it only lit the first of the four elements through the falses block, um, block elements uh, from coming through and trues allow them to come through to the result. And so over here, you see that the 4 got through and the 6 and the 14 and the 22 got blocked. Uh, same thing down here in the command window. Uh, if we go up here and do C equals A indexed, uh, let's do a true, false, true, false. Uh, so we expect the first and third elements to come through and the second and fourth elements to get blocked. Um, and when we execute this, we see that is the case. 4 and 14 get through the first and the third elements, and 6 and 22 get blocked. Same thing down here in the command window. Uh, so in, in a very brief sense, that's logical indexing. We'll talk about logicals a lot more, uh, but that is, uh, that's it in a nutshell.